So how do you know when a piece isn't working and when to give up on it? That's something I've been struggling to deal with um, the past couple of months, and basically this entire year, but more so the past couple of months. I will start a piece and then realize that it's definitely not working out and I want to totally redo it by the time I'm like halfway through or even done with it. I realize this is not what I wanted it to look like at all. I don't want to look at it anymore. I don't want to post it anywhere. But you sort of feel obligated to do it anyway. So what I'm going to talk about is knowing when to stop and when to redo something. So the piece that I'm drawing today is actually a redo of a drawing I did back in May. Um, I tried to do a more painterly style without lines um, when I was doing the first original one. Um, I didn't want to have any line work, I just wanted it to be like this really cool painterly piece. And while I might have, uh, might have had good intentions, it just did not turn out very good at all. And I knew it at the time, I, I noticed Bram's face was just totally off and I didn't really care for the composition or the colors. But I kept doing it anyway, and I don't know that I should have. While it did teach me a lesson that I now know what not to do, um, I would have just probably learned a lot more if I had stopped and then tried it again later. Um, and that's not true for everything. Sometimes you learn more after you have made a mistake and want to rectify the situation. Um, but in my case, I should have just stopped and then called it quits and then picked it up some other time. Um, so that's kind of why I'm redoing that drawing is because I kind of want a redemption arc for myself. And redemption arcs are very important in literature and you know film and all that good stuff but sometimes you need it for yourself in even the smallest circumstances like maybe you made a decision that was not the best decision to make and you want to do something about it so you kind of try and get some recompense for the thing that you had done and that's kind of what I was doing today. It may have been unnecessary or it may have been totally uncalled for. I could have been doing literally anything else uh, like working on my actual comic but I kept looking at this drawing in my uh, files and on my Instagram and on I think I posted it on Tumblr too back in May and I just kept looking at it and I was like, it irks me. This particular thing is going to drive me crazy for the rest of my life, probably. And if I don't do something to fix it, then I will never feel good about it ever again. So, once again, yeah, that's kind of why I did this piece. And this one's not even really done. It's going to be in a couple of parts because on this video, I'm solely working on Bram. And I wanted to take my time with it because I'm pretty sure I rushed the other one. I just wanted to see it done. I wanted to get it done in like less than a day. And it's not always the best thing to do. So I decided I was going to take my time, um, record the process as I went, and just try my best. And I'm not 100% satisfied with how the actual end result um, with both Bram and Blight turned out. I kind of wish I'd done the colors a little differently, or something with the shadows. I feel like the shadows were a little too dark, but one of the things I'm really proud of in this piece are actually the uh, the lines, the line work of this one. Um, I really like the pencil or the brush that I was using. It's kind of like a textured brush, kind of sketchy, and I really enjoyed it. I don't really use it that often, but now that I've actually done it on a couple of different pieces, I kind of want to use it more. Um, the brush that I use in the comic and basically for all my other line work is like an opaque uh, gouache brush and it is nice but I feel like it's a little bit too bold sometimes so maybe I'll switch it out for something like this or maybe I'll edit the tool a little bit more to my tastes but we'll see. But yeah, the line work is definitely my favorite part of the both the uh, Brame and Blight pieces and it's almost done I think. I just have to fill in the flat colors and then I think I start on bl uh, I'm sorry, start on blight. I can't talk today. I'm really tired if you can't tell. Um, but yeah, uh, I think the difference between May and December for me is kind of really fun to look at. Um, back in May I would have considered myself pretty adept, but now I feel like I'm actually at the adept level. Um, I've actually just passed my two-year anniversary of doing digital art, so my tablet is two years old, 
and so is all my art from back in December of 2016 um, when I first started and I feel like I've come a long way since then um, yeah it makes me happy just looking at all the older things that I posted to all the new things and on my Instagram and stuff I will kind of compare both um, of the differences between then and now if I ever like redo pieces because I feel like when people can tell the difference between where you've been and where you are now they feel like they can accomplish the same kind of feats and for someone like me that helps out a lot because I like looking at older you know older pieces compared to the new stuff because I'm like hey maybe I can be like that too one day because everyone starts somewhere no one's just like automatically perfect at everything they do and that's something I le need to learn a lot more um, is to be a little gentler with myself and kinder when it comes to the learning process and everything in between because it's not just you know kind of a magic kind of medium like it takes work and time and effort and tears and sweat and blood I mean not necessarily in a literal way but it feels like it um, but yeah just be nice to yourself and see how far you've come and just reflect back on those days where you could barely draw a stick figure or you know just struggled with every little thing because eventually you will get to the point where it's almost effortless and it'll be worth it in the end a hundred percent and even if you're not at the level you want to be at right now I promise that you'll get there soon so just keep that in mind as you go on your art adventures and yeah that's my motivational speech for the day. But I hope you all have a good one. This video is almost done and I'll be posting the Blight video and maybe uh, the both of them together either this week or next week. We'll see. But yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.